Do you know these three top things that determine a home's value in the marketplace? Well, stick around because I'm gonna break it down. Hello, my name is Philip Cake. I'm with Alon Pinnell Realtors, although very recently we merged with Compass. So I'm gonna leave both logos up here for now. So the three top things that determine your home's value in the marketplace are condition, location, and the market itself. So number one is condition. Obviously a home that's remodeled or updated is worth more than one that isn't. However, even smaller deferred maintenance projects can lead to a decline of the value of the home in a buyer's mind. I always recommend that a seller get a home inspection up front. That way, if there are small things to get taken care of, you can deal with them. It never looks good if you have sloppy wiring in a junction box or a leaking pipe and the buyer got the home inspection and they present it to the seller. This is where people want to renegotiate. But, you know, cosmetic things can make a huge difference. New paint, landscaping, even changing out old switch plates and light fixtures can have a huge impact on the presentation. The old adage, you never get a second chance to make a first impression, is never more true than in real estate. And number two is location. So this is something that you can't do anything about. Your home is probably in the same location it was when you bought it, and it is also somewhat subjective. As an example, I had some clients that were going to make an offer on a home here in Alameda, and it was kind of on a busy street, so I mentioned something about it. And they said, Philip, we're living in North Beach and they're working on the trolley car lines every morning. So this is peaceful. Obviously, some people like more walkability and some people like more privacy. If you get a home in the hills, you're not going to be walking to that coffee shop. And number three is the market. The market itself determines the value of anything. There has to be a demand for the supply. Mostly we have a seller's market here in the Bay Area. There is simply more demand than there is supply of homes. However, there's still homes that sell that don't sell within 20 or 30 days. And I always tell my buyer clients to look at those opportunities because that might be the chance for you to get in a home. The market itself is nothing you can affect. Hopefully you can take advantage of it. And lastly, what I wanted to talk about is valuation and specifically online valuation sites like Zillow. So obviously what Zillow does is it has an algorithm that looks at comparable homes and then comes up with a number. And even Zillow will tell you that this is really meant as a rough guide. And I have a program that I run myself. However, I also look carefully at the photos, read the descriptions. There's also confidential remarks to agents that the public doesn't see. And if I'm not sure about something, I'll actually call up either the buying or the selling agent to try and gain some insight as to why the home sold for that price. Selling a home is always a variable. What I try and do and work with my clients is always is tip as many of those variables in your favor so you gain the highest value. So the first time people are probably gonna experience your home is gonna be online. That's why I think having professional quality photos is crucial. Even if the home isn't gonna be vacant and staged, decluttering as much as you possibly can to take out your own personality is really ideal. I also go one step further and do unique video tours, not just of the interior of the home and the surrounding areas, but the community and some of the amenities that are nearby. People love seeing part of the community they're, they're gonna be a part of. If you're considering selling your home, I hope you'll contact me so that we can talk about how I can help you. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Please leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and as always, thanks for watching.